Hey, hello everyone, welcome back. So, now to this uh, tutorial, we are going to learn how to create a bubble app in Android. So, when you install this application, you will get this type of screen. But before that, it will ask you for the permission to display or allow this app to be displayed over on the overlay of other apps. So, you just need to allow that and then you need to open this application and click on the start bubble. And on click of start bubble, it will give you like this type of bubble which you can move from one side to another anywhere on the screen and whenever you wish you just need, you can just bring it to this cross button it will be deleted and you can start it again by clicking on this button right and you can move it like this and you can also change the icon of this uh, bubble as well as you can also change the icon of this cross button to our code and uh, whenever you click or drag on this if you want to if you need to show any uh, notice to them or pop-up notice you can also show that using this methods that this bubble library has like like this type of notice you can show that you can show them this type of notices so this is a sample of notice so if you want to create this application and learn how to use this library, you just need to use Chrome or Safari and search for the library which is known as Bubble and it has been created by Siddharth 2010. This is the ID of the it's GitHub ID and here you are having a demo application with the library <coughs> and here are some of the images of that uh, sample app and if you want to use this library, you just need to integrate it into your Android project and you can use it by calling this all the methods here. So if you want to uh, get the demo application, you just need to download from here. You can just download the zip file or you can clone it in, the, in your Android Studio. Once you do that, you just need to go to Android Studio and <coughs> you will see uh, two files that is one and one is your service uh, because uh, this if you want to if you want to display this over the other apps, we need to run this app in the service, right? As you can see, if even if the app is closed, if you if you open any other app, the, you can get this bubble there. So for that, you need to create a service in which this bubble will flow. So here's the floating bubble service in which the bubble has been used with all the other methods. So this bubble icon, you need to set the icon of the bubble, remove bubble icon. So this is the icon of this cross button. You can change it by setting that icon here, remove bubble icon. And then bubble icon size of the bubble icon in dps and remove bubble icon that cross button size and expandable view and that is a sample view which we got as a pop-up right I can show you by click on this layout <coughs> right this layout we saw while situating at the corner the padding of the bubble the bubble border at what size border you want I kept it zero if you want you can increase this size the bubble is enabled or not yes then color of the expandable triangle color and the gravity should be left or right you can also keep it like a center or uh, or and free size wherever you want to situate it on the screen and then dot build it will build your bubble uh, on the app and now you just need to call that service and start the service so basically you need to start the permissions here so permission has been started and then uh, here in xml file of your main activity I had created a button on which click off which I'll start my service. So I'll call the start service method. So it's uh, that easy. It's very easy to implement this type of bubbles and on click off which you can uh, show the pop up or perform any activity in background. So uh, hope you like this tutorial and thanks for watching.